Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to SBG News and Views, and this is a special event. This will be primarily about the border convoy, and we have some spectacular guests with us. We have uh, the lovely Michael Jaco with us. We have Mark Anthony here and Noel, and of course, my partner in crime, Robert Imbrielli. Uh, this will be a phenomenal event. This is probably the last major uh podcast of this sort to give you details of there and there's no better people to give us details than boots on the ground michael's there mark anthony for sure as the founder co-founder whatever we want to call him and of course noel who is deep in the trenches so uh welcome everybody thank you for being here thanks for having, thanks for having us so um normally we kick off in news on that but let's just wipe wipe that away guys no news today unless it just happens to pop up or there's something breaking going going on um i know michael you've been there for a, a few days in arizona already is that right yeah it's uh it's been beautiful weather here i guess it's going to start to cool off uh quite a bit the nights are going to get super cold but should be good we'll see yeah guys bring your sweaters and jackets mm -hmm. um if you forget if you forget a t-shirt or anything like that, I'm giving them away free there. So you can get your free remember your oath t-shirt just to keep every keep everybody happy and warm. Um and Mark, I know you've been working the hours and Noel has been working like crazy. I'm hoping you I'm hoping you guys are getting some sleep, which I think is important. We are not. Important. Not <laughs> especially especially the day before the Saturday. You should probably get some sleep tomorrow. Um, cause that's going to be a long day. So Noel, why don't you give us an idea of what, what our expectations are and how, how the convoy is going to this, to this part so far. Yeah. So thanks for having me first time with you. I appreciate that. And so, so far, so good. You know, we are in contact with, uh, Robert A.G. He's over in Texas handling that convoy from Virginia beach that started on Monday in down, they went down, you know, through Florida and Baton Rouge, then they came in through Texas and, um, now they've kind of splintered off so some people stayed they went to dripping springs and then they're going to colmado for their overnight rally coming up on the third on saturday and then a few others they split off and they came through las cruces new mexico today it's today the first it is so what they're doing there tonight is um it's um vado speedway those people are so nice they called us the other day out of the blue and found out we're doing this and they offered the speedway up to us and whoever shows up tonight they're having food trucks and they're going to have a big screen and they're going to show some of the videos and just kind of fellowship really with whoever shows up there and um, just they want to get involved and then whoever wants to come through to Yuma they're going to be here on the third on Saturday midday probably it's about eight hours from uh, where they are now to Yuma and so I think the convoy is going great. It's been super peaceful. I know people have heard a lot of things, but none of that is true. So let's keep in mind who we hear it from before we believe it. And everybody's having, I guess, just a good old time. Mark and I were saying we're so jealous today because we're just gr grinding it out over here in Yuma. I did not sleep a wink last night, to your point. Like, literally did not go to sleep last night. So if I sound a little rummy... I've not had a drink at all, but I am working on 48 hours a week. So, <laughs> so maybe tomorrow or maybe Sunday night we'll get some rest. But we're just looking forward to having everybody. And yep. we went to nice here. Yeah, you know what's interesting is this is positioned as a convoy, yet there's it seems like there's multiple convoys and people are kind of kind of going doing their own thing. But the good news is they. Like uh, we're getting reports from Dripping Springs uh, this morning and um, Carol in our chat right now just said it is getting packed with oh. uh, with people. And, and I know uh, Bruce showed up yesterday there in a two mile convoy and he thought it was just going to be him. He got there and there's five, ten times more people than than were in the convoy already there. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and I suspect you is going to be off the hook. I know uh, I have reports of around somewhere around 100 people just from my SBG, my Scuba Gov group that are going to be there. So I'm sure there'll be over a thousand people there. So, guys, even if you can't connect with the convoy, you can still show up to the the events. And like Noel said, the rallies. And I think they're going to be a big, big deal. No admission yeah. fee, by the way. Mm. 
yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's going to be great. They're, um, <clears throat> we've been working all day trying to get some uh, little hiccups that we ran into, like we all do. We've all been through them where we order things and the company can't deliver. So we had to go back in and get another company to come back in. We've been through that many times ourselves. But, and by uh, we, he means me. Yeah. <laughs> so, she wants to make so that we, known. We, 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 uh, we are not ordering the things at the last minute, but it's okay. No, four, yeah. four, four stores today to get some banners done and Staples can't do banners all of a sudden in 2024. I don't know, not know what that's about, but that's how it is. So we're just doing what we can and we're going to have fun no matter what. So, um, yeah, so we, we, uh, we've had some meetings this morning, her and I, and, uh, we're just nailing it down. It's going to be great. She's, uh, man, she's a rock star. I'm here to tell you, glad that she's on my team. <laughs> For yeah. you, not against you, of course. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, but there's a lot behind the scenes that's went into this. There's been a lot of blood, sweat and tears from, from our core steering team and, um, and I'm proud of every, you know, I'm, I'm proud of every one of them that they've really come together. There's a lot of things that we've learned and, uh, you know, that, that we'll take on from here from the future. But uh, I'm really, really super excited. I'm super excited to unite people and uh, bring awareness to the border and the crisis that we're, we're, we're facing in every single state across the United States that, that this border is causing and um, uh, trying to put an end um to those open borders and put an end to the fentanyl crisis, 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 child trafficking, human, human trafficking. trafficking. Um, um, it's been it's been our mission. This is what you know, Jayco and 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 Lewis and Robert and and our whole entire crew and uh, Noel as well. It's that's that's the biggest thing on our hearts is, is to get rid of this crisis that we're in. Yeah, the, um, you guys will be welcomed with um, the ultimate team of patriot warriors. When you when you get to Arizona, I already know some people are going to be there. They're they're very very happy that that you're coming in, and uh, it it's going to be a phenomenal phenomenal event, guys. Anybody that you have two days to find a way to get to Yuma, Arizona, and I would I would suggest you do it because this this is the difference. What happens is when we the people stand in unison. This is not a political thing. It's not a Republican or Democrat crap thing. It's not. It's a God thing, to be honest with you. And so, and when we stand together, unified, and say we will not take it anymore, it does make a difference. There is a lot, a lot of trolls out there right now that are making stories up that don't even exist within the convoy. I actually saw one that was following the convoy. They turned their car in towards the convoy and then reacted as if they got turned into. And they're like, oh, look at what they're doing. They're freaking out. So, of course, I've got myself and everybody I know going on there and say, that's not true. They're lying, blah, 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 blah. So we're counting. We're in, a, we're, in a, we're in an ex-Twitter battle right now, suppressing and fixing all these fake messages that are out there. So, But here's where I'm going. Why would they do that? Because they're scared. Because they know this, this is the demise of the baddies. When we, the people, stand up, we can make the difference and fix everything. So I'm so proud of you, you guys, for coordinating this, and uh, appreciate you bringing me on as a consultant. That's that's been interesting for sure. And then uh, we're going to make this 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 fun, and we'll have a lot of a lot of speakers there. Um, can you name any of the speakers uh, outright at this point? Yeah, sure. So we're going to have, you know, you said it's not political, right? It's not red, it's not blue. We say it's an American event, right? This is for fellow Americans to come together. And I do live in Arizona for 25 years. So I live, you know, about three hours from the border, but we have it all infiltrating into our our areas now and i live in the outskirts of phoenix quite a ways and it's it's out there too so um for us it's pretty close to home so who we're gonna have well we're gonna have some candidates um we've got some congressional candidates coming in kelly cooper is in the east valley jeff zink is in the west valley and then i've got jerome davison running for congress right in the middle of those two guys around the tempe Albuquerque area we've got jerry sheridan he is also running and then we have um that's pretty much all well Actually, I have somebody representing um, Mark Lamb. Mark is going to be in D.C. with Janelle. So his son, Cade, and I are friends. And I called him up and said, hey, come represent your dad. We're big fans of Mark out here. And, of course, he's on the border, and he lives and breathes it every day, as do his, does his family. They all live down there, so in Pinal. 
So he's going to be there and he's going to do some special uh, songs for us as uh, Cade's a musician. And so he's going to represent really well. And then we're going to have Moms for America. Kimberly is coming in. She's bringing her van wrapped. So she's bringing some great ladies in. And we also have some probably local folks that um, want to speak. I'm trying actually, I talked to Omar last night. We checked in Super 8 about 11 and his dad, his family, uh, they came, you know, and got their legal citizenship. And I told Omar last night at 11, I said, hey, I think I want you to be a speaker on Saturday. Like you have the perfect story. He's a little shy, but I think I'm going to talk him into it by Saturday when it comes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we just want to hear from people and the right way to do things. And really it's about the fellow Americans networking together. They pulled us apart for three years and they did it on purpose. And we are all used to all hanging out in the backyards over our years. We're all that age. And we want to, you know, revive that and get networking going again. People aren't segregated by the other people who, uh, you know, use that to their advantage. And you need to know your neighbors here and afar when you're traveling. You should know people in other areas because we know it's coming and it's not good to, you know, be isolated. So we hope to foster some of that, too, and get everybody back together. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. And I, I know there's a, there's a lot of speakers or phenomenal speakers that will be there. So I'll hook you guys up with that or I'll direct them, cool. direct them to Bruce. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll, I'll have to pin Michael down and I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll have some great words. He's, he's very shy though. So, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to motivate him. We'll go work out together in the morning or something. Is that Michael Yawn? No, Michael Jaco right here. Oh, oh you, Oh, Michael Jaco, sorry, sorry. That's right, you are here too. So yeah, so get with me. I'm doing the agenda and the schedule. I have a few people plugged in based on when they're coming, but we start at noon. We're going to go to 10. There'll be a concert in the evening in the inside venue. We have an outside stage. It's a beautiful area. We're going to have food trucks. A bunch of great food is coming in, and um, we're going to have some vendors there. So there's a lot to do. And I even have a couple things for the kids. So it, hopefully it'll be a family oriented event, you know, cause that's really important. We want all the families to feel a part of it and it's not exclusionary at all. So we want come one, come all. Cool. And then um, Mark, I know you've been diving a lot into security. So I want you to go into that. And, and then Michael, if you can tag on, because that with your incredible background and everything, just so you, so everybody knows how safe an event like this, or how how the job that we and the coordinators are doing are really going to help protect this. So, Mark, why don't you tell me the work you've been doing in the background? Because you call me daily, telling telling me, and it's very interesting. I know a lot of them you can't give details in. Speaking about details, that's why you guys don't have the Yuma address yet, because you don't. We're trying to prevent infiltrators, not invite them. So you'll have. You know it. what I. I did, so let me correct. I think I put it up last night. Oh, they didn't see it the, today. So let me let me double check. I'm on here right now. Because so we that's... put San Ysidro up last night. So if it didn't go up last night, it will go up tonight. I mean, we don't want to jam people up. But here's the deal. If you come to Yuma, it's like everything's like two miles away from each other. It's a small drag of town. So you could just get to Yuma. There's a bunch of hotels on the website. They're all discounted rates. They worked with us. They want our, our travelers to be really comfortable. So there's $80 rooms and there's $189 rooms and everything in between. So to fit your budget, you just click the links. It's already the discounts in there. So um, if you're here, you're basically there. So I'll get it on tonight if it's not already on. Perfect, perfect. And guys, just go to takeourborderback.com, takeourborderback.com. So, Mark, uh, let's talk about the security a little bit. And, you know, and, and let's just, we could be uh, open. There has been people trying to infiltrate, but you've been done a damn good job at being proactive with that. Well, not, you know, not only me, but just the team itself, including you guys. I mean, we've had, you know, people in spaces and, and, uh, people like yourself, everyday Americans that, that have learned from this over the periods of the years that we've been doing this and they have pushed back against these people and really hammered them. Um, now there's certain things that, that, uh, that, you know, I pick up the phone and I call rather I call the attorney or I call Lewis and say, Hey, um, how would you, how would you structure this and what would you do? Because those are my main two, two people that I go to. Um, and, and the input's very important with me because, you know, there's, there's that tightness of, of, of friendship. And um, anyway, so, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've 
I've had set down meetings with law enforcement and uh, I have been working with them pretty close. I've, I've got security teams coming in. Um, I'm not going to go too much in detail. Uh, Jaco knows why, but um, I've got teams coming in. I've got, I've got, you know, this is a fenced, this whole place is fenced in. So you're, you're, you're going to have to go through a security check before you ever walk in. Um, uh, I want to know we've got the Beavins Act on the fence that we're going to have. So if law enforcement does their thing, um, you know, trying to infiltrate uh, into this uh, without telling us who they are, then there's certain consequences to that. Um, we have been working around the clock um, combating, you know, um, every single thing that we, we've come against and um, working, like I said, extremely uh, close with law enforcement. And they've uh, they've actually brought some people in uh, to help um, and, and just so everybody knows they're not they're not um, sorry driving sorry they're, they're, they're not um, they're, High they're, profile. yeah yeah so they're not you're not gonna know who they are they're just gonna do their thing and and they're gonna they're gonna help outside but I could I could go in a lot more detail after this event. Right, to right. certain degrees, but I just want to keep, I really want to keep what I got under my wraps. You know, I was trained very well in this. Uh, Michael has some similar training stuff that I've been, uh, that I've been exposed to. And so I just need to make sure that I, I keep some of those things to myself, but we feel very confident, very blessed. Um, and uh, we just can't wait. Right. And um, I'll, I'll go into the J6 comparison in a moment, but Michael, what, what is your thoughts about the event and the and the security and so on and so forth? Yeah, all the, all the things that I would have done, it sounds like, uh, you know, uh, Mark has already done them. Uh, and I think it's probably going to be on a different level because of what he's kind of hinting at. So that's really what it needs at, at this point, because we're already seeing, you know, a little um, clownery going on with the convoy and stuff like that. But there's going to be. Uh, some infiltration or infiltration attempts. Uh, we might actually see that, but that's why everybody's just. We got a lot of people that have a head have a heads up, intuitive, and all kind of crazy stuff. So we're we're going to be blanketing this place, and it should it should be uh, a, a great event with no problems, uh, which would potentially grow into a greater event in the future. Because I think you know this is like the beginning of this. Uh, and, the, and the reason why this bl has blown up as quickly and as, as prominently as it has is because people are ready for this. They've been waiting for something like this. Uh, so they're really jumping on board. So this is the beginning, uh, I believe, of the end of this definitely a world war we're in right now. And we're already in it. So this is basically American citizens getting involved and saying enough is enough. Uh, we've been basically our government's taken over and we were done with it. Uh, the only thing the government should exist for, and it was the reason why it was uh, made, put into existence, is to protect America from invasion, period. That's all they're supposed to do. And look how big they've grown. And they're not even doing their main function at all. So it's, uh, I think people are really waking up to this. And uh, as far as like, you know, civics and so forth. People are really waking up to this. We've had a chance to really dig deep. And I think it's going to be uh, very interesting going forward. And and J6, was that the uh, the beginning of what we're going to see something happening with this group? I don't think so. Because we're not in D.C. They don't have the control that they do have in D.C. D.C. is not even the United States. So you're looking at a foreign country pretty much, and they have complete control in D.C. We are in a constitutional state which is not going to put up with any kind of craziness. And if we need to like, you know, get law enforcement involved and stuff like that, there's all of us are looking for that and making sure that and those guys are going to be looking for it and it's going to get stopped out so fast. It's going to make everybody's head spin. So uh, I don't if think. I, if I could say something to that also, no. just to add to what Michael said. So this is private property. So we want to be really clear. We have private property that's been actually donated to us by this amazing 85 year old man. He's been there his whole life and just is tired of what America is, is falling into. And he calls our commander in chief. Can I say a bad word on here? I don't know if I can. Oh, please do. Oh, he calls him a dipshit. And so he said to me, he's the cutest man ever. 
his yeah, I don't want to say his name on air, but he's legally blind and he has seven acres that he's graciously donated to us when he heard what we were doing. And he gave us a tour. I drove down from Phoenix last last uh, week for a round trip and I sat with him in his kitchen for quite a while and he was crying and just saying how he's so saddened by what this, this person has done to our country and this government. And he just has had enough because he can't join the services now. He wants to do his part still. And if we can use his land to do that, bring people together. That's what he said to me. He's, you guys, he's adorable. You're going to see him on Saturday. He's going to come up on stage and do our pledge with us. So, um, but the point I wanted to make was, aside from that, was, you know, also Robert has private land in Texas. Uh, a children's center actually donated that land and they have tons of acreage. And so we're not in Washington to your point. And there is still due process, not in Washington, but in the other states, there are those who have great sheriffs like we do and good law enforcement. Like we love our law enforcement in Arizona and um, they follow the laws and the rules. And so we don't need to worry as much. Plus we're going to be behind a gated fence. There's going to be two points of access only. And so when you're inside, we have a little bit more control uh, on our, our team, right? And it's our zone, so to speak. So Mark, expert at all things that, um, you know, they're going to make sure that what happens inside is, is appropriate for where we are. And I think we have really good-hearted people coming. There'll be some prayer. There's going to be some, you know, there's fellowship. There's going to be some probably singing. And so it's going to be a really positive experience here. And I know... Uh, they're planning a revival a little bit over there in Texas. So it's going to be really a positive, forward-thinking thing. And we're not going to allow that stuff to happen, and they will be dealt with. And the sheriff is, you know, on board with us and in Texas and in California, as a matter of fact. So if anybody thinks we're going in road, going in hot, whatever, we're not. We are going to work with them on traffic and all the logistics to make sure that we come in peacefully and lawfully and we obey their laws. And if you don't... I just will say, tell your friends if you don't want to, that's okay, but you can't be at the events with us. So it's just a choice you make of following the laws or not participating, and that's kind of how we're going to run the show. Yeah, so. that's that's beautiful. Um, I tell people often that 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 DC is a completely different animal. I I was I was at J six. Michael Jacob was at J six, and we can tell you, uh, there's here's the differences between the two. Number one, private <laughs> land versus public land. Uh, n- number number two, if you're talking about Texas and Arizona, good patriots um, will many of them will be armed. It no, uh, num- number three, and by the way, when I say armed, it's uh, just something are allowed at the event. It's not necessary. We're not here to intimidate anybody, right? Just for your own personal protection. And then, in addition, which is most important, is Due process. D.C. does not have it. All the other states have due process. So it's very, very important to know that. So this whole fear mongering about this this event, it's 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 crazy. And the, the reality is infiltrators are probably not even they, they may be there verbally and to cause trouble and to videotape things and make make stuff up. But from a physical point of them doing something, I would doubt it because there's going to be so many people, patriots there that they're not going to want to mess with. And just just because they're thoughtful, righteous, and in prayer doesn't mean they don't know how to handle themselves. So I, I think it's important to know that. It's, it's going to be good. I mean, it's really going to be good. I mean, I'm super excited because my uh, just on myself personally, my truth to our family is coming. And, uh, and, and, and everybody that has supported us uh, throughout this whole journey of bringing truth to the American people, uh, they're going to be there, man. And that means everything to me. I mean, yeah. look, I got Jayco there and I got Lewis and, and Poppy and, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic just, just to see their faces. So, this ours? so you guys yeah, are coming to ours in Yuma. You guys are. Yeah. I didn't know you guys were. I'm so excited. Well, don't you guys want to speak? Yeah, I, I, Mark told me I was speaking. You are, before. you're on my list. You're okay. already on the list, Lewis. Yeah, I got you on. But okay. Jacob's uh, a powerful Michael, speaker. You definitely want to have speak, speak, right? Yeah. So you guys, let me know what time you're coming in, and I'll just put you appropriately on the agenda to suit your needs, you know, and your travel time. So 
Um, there'll be a lot more stuff to do there. But yeah, we definitely want you. I flew with you are already on. So, Mr. Jaco, uh, you too are now on officially. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to Michael's that. Michael's in town already too, guys. Michael's there right uh, right yeah. now, yeah. or he's, yeah, in, yeah, he's yeah. in Arizona. I'll be in Yuma tomorrow. Yeah, right. So we arrive oh, tomorrow. Honey, yeah. Yeah, My wife and, and I will be in Yuma right tomorrow now. also, so we'll be there ahead of time. Yeah, yeah I've been in touch with Michael since he's been uh, here, and uh, I probably could guess where he's at right now if I took a while, and I'm sure I could get it right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we've been in contact and. Uh, uh, with him and uh, Tracy Joe and trying to get some stuff, you know, squared away. And there's a little little ironing we still got our, you know, little small things we're going to iron out in the next day and a half. Uh, we're actually on our way over right now to um, to the place and uh, and uh, do a little bit of hugging and shaking hands and and um, did a lot of uh, grateful things. Of, you know, as far as being grateful to him letting us use it. I mean, I want to make double sure that. That uh, and I know he does. That how grateful we are that uh, he's allowing us to do this. So uh, we offered to take him out to eat. And he's got the little lady that takes him out to eat. Uh, mm -hmm. So so he declined that. But hey, I tried, right? <laughs> nice. I mean, well, if you have a lady to go out with or Mark Anthony. I mean, who would you pick? Depends on who you're I talking mean, I to. would pick yeah. you. I, you're driving. <laughs> I would pick you all day long. You're my choice. But you know, come on, it's, it's all subjective. How funny. So, uh, yeah, so uh, we're just going to go over and, and see him and hug him and uh, give him some loving and tell him how much we appreciate him. And, and uh, that means a lot to me because, you know, this whole movement uh, to me, with, with especially with you guys and, and being where I've been with you guys, it's all about love. I mean, we each, each. Oh, we lost him. There he later. is. It's, it's, in our conversation and it's because it's a true thing and we need to learn what that word really means yep oh, Lewis you might remember I'm sure you do that on your true tour you know I spoke at one of your events and like a few days later we're going to go up to the Georgia Guidestones mm -hmm. and we were going to like do a prayer group send the love like you're, you're talking about right now Mark and before we even got there the thing blew up Right. Hit yeah. with lightning and then a drone strike and they blew it up. And then the next day they came out and just like bulldozed it. And it was gone. So uh, that's that's the power of prayer. That's the power of uh, focus, you know, thought like we we all talk about. And uh, that that made it that happen. So this is what we're doing right now with this event. We're beginning that that focus, power of thought, focus, power, of prayer and so forth. And it's going to turn this country around. So. If whatever happens at this event, it is the beginning. It's the beginning of the end of this this gov this government, uh, and they they have nothing that's going to help them stand. Trump at some point is probably going to come. So we have all these war drums that are mo going on right now. So we can't wait around. We have to get this thing rolling. We the people have to start taking back our power in our states, at the county. Like you know, Lewis has been teaching this to everybody. Uh, at the county level, uh, law enforcement, mayor, all the way up. If they're not, if they're not doing their oath, which is to serve and protect, and they're doing the opposite of that, which we're seeing in a lot of places, they get voted out immediately. That happens at that level so quick it makes their head spin. And I've seen that happen in Wisconsin. They came in and basically canceled out everybody that was on the city council and reelected some people on the spot. So this is a power that we have. We have to just wake people up to it. This this federal government does not have the power to do what they're doing right now. And we just have to get smart on this. And that's how we turn it around. Wow, this, this is a perfect segue, Michael, because right before I came, um, we, we got on the show, I, I wrote the five questions that Remember Your Oath is going to ask the sheriffs. And so... You guys can go go to the Telegram, and I'm I'm opening it up to we the people. If you think I should change something in the questions, they will be uh, posted there at five five o'clock Pacific time. For those of you watching, I'll give you a quick rundown. So this is the questions that we are physically going to the sheriffs and asking them these questions brought to your attention and charge the perpetrators regardless of their political status. Yeah. 
Question three, will you aggressively investigate and charge any civil servant in your country, in, sorry, in your county that is brought to your attention as breaking the law? Number four, do you understand that you're an employee of we the people and the everyday person is just as important as a politician or a billionaire? Five, have you read aloud and will you abide by your constitutional oath? So what we're going to do with that, and feel free, you guys, to, to go to my telegram. And if you have some suggested changes or some words in there that you think could be a little bit different, we're looking for input from we the people. But what we're going to use this for and what remember your oath is, it's it's how we hold accountable and how we actually support uh, your your sheriffs, your uh, political figures, anybody that's doing the right job, we're going to support them. If they're doing the wrong job, we're organizing in mass and we're going to hold them accountable. And we, the people, always win, always win. We just need to stand up and, and take action. So um, for you, th those of you here, also, you can go to RememberYourOath.com. But if you're in Yuma, come by and I'll give you a free T-shirt while supplies last. Um, and I don't care how much money I, my wife hates when I say this. I don't care how much money I'm losing on this. This is so important for our, our future, this this type of thing. And good news, the app is just about finished. I There's an app, guys, that's coming out where all patriots can unite and connect uh, really worldwide. But we're going to start with the United States. Um, I just had some final changes done. They've been working on it for about 10 days, and they just, they just said, okay, Sorry, Lewis, so I was going to give it to you Tuesday, but now it looks like maybe Friday or Saturday. But it's almost there, guys. I'm not promising it will be done by this week, and I'm just saying it's right around the corner. And this will make a difference because you can activate immediately. Hey, guys, let's go to your school board. There's some shenanigans going on. So this all works together with what, what these wonderful people have created in the border convoy. So um, I'm very excited about the future that we have because we, the people – as Mark talks about this and Michael talks about this a lot, are are actually finally coming together. And so I want to thank you, Mark, and everybody that organized the Border Convoy, because I think this is a catalyst to uh, better things to come. I think you're right. I, um, <clears throat> I've learned a lot from Michael. I've learned a lot from you, Lewis. Uh, I've learned a lot the past, you know, we... we we look at things in so many different lights and we think that we just, when we got it down to a T it changes on us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we, you know, the older we get, we grow and we build. And, um, and I've watched myself internally build to this new person. I've always been a good person, but I'm saying this person that I am today, um, in a, in a different type of light, like, like I resonated at a higher frequency, everything, I'm more alert. I'm more, uh, tuned. I'm, 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 I'm like a, I'm like a, you know, a freshly tuned guitar. I mean, I'm ready to go. And I think that's where America is. We've been tuned to this, uh, for the past four years to a point that we're ready to start playing. Yeah. And that, that frequency that you're talking about, you know, that we talk about the love vibration and stuff like that. We have to be at these higher frequency levels because they want to take us down into fear and anger. And that's what they push and that's how they control us. So, Breaking, breaking free of that mentality and, and, and raising our consciousness to the love vibrational frequency is basically fine-tuning to defeat them. Now, when, when we're talking about oaths, we assume that these people have taken their oaths. Uh, I know there's a lot, right. and I've seen a lot of people talk about how they have not taken oaths. That's right. Or have they taken people. a false oath? Exactly. Or they have taken an oath on not the Bible, but a comic book. Yes. Comic yes. book. Yes. Yes, and there, there's actual people that have videoed this. Uh, so, and they're just, they don't think there's going to be any repercussions for that. Now, the repercussions should be hundreds of people show up to the city council and demand uh, a removal or someone that is going to actually take that oath uh, so correctly. And if that doesn't happen, then they're, they're not serving the people. It's like they're serving something else. So, uh, the oath takers are, are very important going forward because that holds them responsible. And then the way they've gotten around that, they, they got bonded. So we even talked about that at one time. Uh, we had a lot of people talking about how they, they're not bonded. So now they're bonded. They, they, they 
we have to be careful how we we tell them how to be how to be right. That's because then they'll work around the system yeah. and and correct it so that we can't come at it through that that way. So it's almost like they're constantly ambushing us, like they did a J six. It's almost like we need to start thinking that way too and ambush them. And the way we ambush them is like we show up in mass at city councils so that they can't like, you know, someone starts to talk out and the, the corrupted lo- local law enforcement come and drag them out mm-hmm. in front of everybody. And everybody's like, Oh, we can't do anything. That's what they did. J six. They intimidated the world. They intimidated us. There's people in Laos and Vietnam right now that are aware of what's going on at our border right now, that we are there demonstrating all around the world. People are demonstrating. You see in France, you see in Germany, you see in Belgium right now, surrounding the European Union, uh, we have farmers that are have come with their tractors. They're, they're, there it is right there. So they're basically coming out and, and you know, demonstrating. And the, and this is this was supposed to be something that we had done here in America, where we did the convoys. The Canadians did the convoys. Uh, we did the trains at one time. The trains stopped for a while. And that was to stop goods coming into, uh, you know, grocery stores and everybody, so everybody could see, hey, these people were being, you know, uh, unfairly treated by our government, uh, the people that bring us food. And uh, they, they like, let's shut it down. And then they, somebody talked them out of doing that. But they're in Europe. They're basically, their grocery stores are empty right now because the farmers are demonstrating because they, they can't go on. They can't go on with the government coming at them like they are. And you don't want 3D food because that's their that's their thing. Crickets and 3D food. Do you guys want that? That's what they want to get us. Hear that. The only way you're going to hear that is if we start to tell them you're going to talk about it or you're not going to go in office. We're not going to support you. So that's we're 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 rising up. We're going to turn this thing around, and this is the way we do it. We get active. Yeah, that's right. Hundred percent agree. The micro fixes the macro, guys. So that's why we we have this big scope of uh, let's fix let's fix the White House. Trust me, that's not going to do it. The micro, which Michael's Michael's talking about, your local communities, your local school districts, your local elections, your local politicians. This is where the difference is going to be made, um, and it's a trickle up effect, not a trickle down effect, because that's the foundation. And it's, if, if without a solid foundation, everything collapses. And that's why what happened is the cabal has been doing this for about 40 years directly to the local communities and the schools. They've been eroding the foundation. We can't allow that to happen anymore. We have to understand the foundation is very important. They think in 50 and 100-year plans, we think about our paycheck on Friday. So we need to change our mentality and uh, – we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, uh, guys, I appreciate both of you. Uh, Mark and Noel, do you have any final thoughts here? No, I'm by myself. She's finally, we finally got here. She's in with Mr. Britton. Um, I got to, you know, I've got to know Noel through these, um, these visits and, and she's very political with moms from, you know, uh, mm-hmm. Arizona, all kind of uh, political stuff to help, you know, she's really, but you know, on our end of things, she's 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 mulling and understanding what we're seeing, and she's she's like she catches it real quick, and uh, um, it's it's pretty amazing to see people just wake up all of a sudden and see it right in front of them. It's like wow, she goes, I never knew this. It's like the you guys. I mean, she's like, I've never even heard of you guys. And I said, well, there's a separation. There's these people that frequency on this level, and then there's us. You know, let me get that. There's us, and here's these people. And all these people are going to these tours and all these um, uh, events that are across America. But I said, our people seem to, to resonate a lot higher when you're around them. You'll understand. So I'm looking forward to her meeting, meeting some of our people where um, um, she can see that. But, hey, I appreciate you having me today. I'm, my mind's 100 miles an hour. I've got some backdrop stuff going on. I've got to get off here and get some stuff done. But, uh, hey, I love each and every one of you. You mean everything to me. Um Let's make this happen and uh, safe travels. And guys, uh, Michael, any last words from you? No, just uh, reiterate what uh, Mark says. Uh, lots of love out there. You know, we, if you can't make it to this event, I know a lot of people all over the world are watching this event. Uh, so we appreciate your prayers and your support. And that make, that's, makes a huge difference. I, I noticed that when I was in the battlefields, you know, overseas, 
I could feel those prayers. So we appreciate those and we're representing you. Yeah, we are representing you. And, and folks, we talked a lot about love today. Love being a high frequency. It is the number one frequency, those authenticity. So I would recommend that everybody be as authentic as you can, because that's when we are drawn together. That's what magnetism is. When somebody, when two people are being authentic, it's amazing. Their attraction together is absolutely incredible. So guys, let's resonate with authenticity and love. And we got this. Keep moving forward, but we absolutely got this. You have so many warriors out there. If you can't fight yourself, we're going to fight for you. Just give us your support with a thumbs up or a prayer. Thank you, guys. I love everybody. Uh, Robert, appreciate you in the background today working so hard to, to put this together. Um, all our admins and uh, guys, I'll see you in Yuma. Take care. Sounds good. See you guys. See you guys soon.